In the early 19th century, philosopher Pierre Simon Laplace came up with a theory. He thought that if you know the exact state of everything in the universe, every galaxy, every star, every planet, and every single atom, you would be able to calculate the future with complete certainty. This view is known as determinism, that the future is already predetermined and nothing is left to chance. In the late 1930s, engineers in the United Kingdom were working on the first radar systems, and they had a problem. When using high-power amplifiers, the signals transmitted became chaotic. They enlisted the help of a mathematician named Mary Cartwright, and over the next seven years, she studied the Van Der Poel equation, which describes the output of a nonlinear radio amplifier. What she found was that when the gain of the amplifier was high, even a small change in the initial conditions resulted in a large change to the output. Few people took notice of this discovery at the time for a couple of reasons. Much of Cartwright's work was with secret military technology, and it was also before computers were able to make visualizations of chaotic systems. Although Cartwright's work was fundamental to the field of chaos theory, she rarely receives credit for being its creator. In the early 1960s, Edward Lorenz, a meteorologist, was using an LGP-30 computer to forecast weather patterns using a number of variables like temperature, wind speed, and pressure. When his program was run, it generated a printout of the predicted numbers. When Lorenz put these numbers back into the computer and ran the program again, it started out close to the original, but the longer it ran, the more it diverged until eventually it no longer resembled the previous predictions. At first, he thought there was a problem with the computer, but he later determined that the difference was caused because the computer stored data to six decimal places, but only printed out three. This tiny difference of only 0 .0001 resulted in a completely different output. Lorenz later named this phenomenon chaos theory, when a small change in initial input can result in a massive change later. Because the exact same input always produced the same result, this is known as deterministic chaos. Lorenz's weather simulation initially included 12 variables, and he eventually simplified it to only three differential equations, a system known as the Lorenz attractor. The system is chaotic because even a small change to its initial inputs will result in a completely different final path. The term the butterfly effect takes its name because the system resembles the wings of a butterfly. Another well-known example of a chaotic system is a three-body problem. In this system, there are three planetary bodies and we use Newton's law of universal gravitation to simulate their motion. These two systems are nearly identical, but in the right system, one of the planets is 0.01% heavier. While the trajectories of the planets are similar at the start, it doesn't take long before they diverge, and eventually, they become completely different. The most common application of chaos theory is in weather prediction. While it's easy to predict trends in the weather, it gets colder in the winter and warmer in the summer, it's hard to predict the day-to-day -day changes, like will it rain next Tuesday? Researchers have found that, because the weather is chaotic, it is nearly impossible to predict the weather more than two weeks in the future. Chaos theory has also been used in dozens of other fields, like economics, medicine, engineering, psychology, and fluid dynamics. Its applications range from decision-making in economics to making more efficient dishwashers. In essence, Chaos theory describes systems where a small change in their input results in large and unpredictable changes in their output. Chaos is the reason why weather forecasts are often inaccurate, because even if our measurements are only off by one part in a million, it will make a huge difference in a week. Chaos theory gives us a way to understand our complex world and to make sense of what was previously thought to be unpredictable.